All right, in this little demonstration, I'm going to show you how to render with BPR pretty fast. I have a little script down here. Um, I did a little bit of modification. I'm not actually the one who made this, and it wasn't really designed for this, but uh, I found out a pretty neat way of uh, how to do a fast BPR render. All right, there is credit to that person. Um, you can uh, send me a private message, and I'll send you a link, and you can try it if you want to. All right. And um, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how this works. Um, without me using this script, we're going to do a, a BPR render. I got a large document size and I got a lot of stuff going on in here with some materials and it's real heavy. And if you know anything about the BPR and the uh, subpixels right here, the more you crank this up, the longer it's going to take. All right. So as example, when I press this button here, we're going to keep a time about how long this takes to render. So I'm going to click it and just start counting. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009. Look, you can see the numbers up here. Almost 13 seconds for this to render. Alright. I can, you know, if I wanted to change, uh, Let's say a material on here to the gas tank and switch it over and press the BPR. All right, and see how fast it's taking right now. All right, is that's because I didn't move the um, drag bike here. If I was to just to move it a little bit, um, basically it's going to take. You'll see this little counter up here when I press it. Um, it'll start counting at about four seconds and it's like it's starting all over again every time I move this bike I'm having to wait a lot longer and uh, I'm only on the uh, sub pixel 3 the more I crank it up the longer I have to wait I could wait up uh, quite a long time for this so we're gonna use a script here what I want to do is I want to go ahead and find an angle that I want to get a good shot in here at and uh, do some test renders all right I'll tip it up a little bit like this maybe something like that all right when I'm happy with that I want to store this position down here with this uh, button called store and we're gonna press this now it's gonna the first time is gonna be the slowest because it's storing the position right here all right so we're looking at this gonna take you know about 13 seconds for this to finish now once I have that stored I can move it around anywhere I want let's say I just wanted for some reason to look at the back or whatever it took and uh, it needs to be back in the same position um, for it to speed up and render if at this point in time we don't want to use this uh, BPR here we're gonna go down here and it's gonna recall the last position and the, the uh, render time is gonna be really quick and it's gonna render with the BPR alright so we're gonna click here and we're gonna count 1001 1002 alright this beats almost a lot quicker than I think the last one was what 12 or 13 seconds and that's a lot quicker uh, I like using this because sometimes I like to move around and uh, see how things are working and it's really good if you're switching materials say I wanted to switch a material all right I you know as long as I'm switching the material I can go to the BPR and it's gonna render quick and or if I want to look around and maybe switch to a different material let's say right here uh, maybe change a color or something like that and it's gonna do it quick all right now the thing not to do um, this will cause this program to um, slow down again is if you try editing this uh, motorcycle all right basically there's a few things that you can um, do I mean you can turn on the poly frame and the transparency but if you start adjusting the sub pixels or try uh, adding to the mesh it's gonna start all over um, basically it's kind of a, a visual effect for rendering and it speeds it up so uh, as I'll turn it around here and we're gonna put the original tank back here and we're gonna press the 
press the BPR. All right, I I kind of like this, uh, but I don't like the angle. Okay, I just kind of doing a visual effect to see how the materials are looking, and to be a fast render. I don't want to wait all the time for each render. So I like everything, but I don't like the position. So we're gonna delete the position here, and we're gonna move it somewhere else. And we're gonna do maybe a top one here a little bit. Then we're gonna start. Now once again, when we get that first one here, it's gonna start all over and it's gonna take 13 seconds. We only have to do this once and we're gonna wait. Um, and uh, wait and wait and wait. Once again, um, I can move this around, take a look at the back or whatever I want, um, change the material and restore uh, the position and render with the BPR in less than around two seconds. All right, now we're gonna go on to the next step. The only downfall about this uh, script here, it doesn't work very well with the fiber mesh. Maybe somebody could fix it. Um, I did find a way that you can kind of bypass it, but uh, it's not kind of what I wanted. Since we started a new project, we want to delete the position of the drag bite. So we're just going to make sure we delete this. And because this is actually going to st store the uh, object and the position. So for this to work correctly with fiber mesh, this is the only way I can get it to work. Um, we need to turn the sub pixels all the way to zero. Um, you're not going to get a very good render, but this is the only way I can get it to work. So we tip the dog however we want them and then we're going to store it right here. And um, this actually it takes a while for this to work here. And then we're going to give it a few more seconds. Now we're at sub-pixel 3 and if I cranked it up to number 6 it'd probably take at least twice as long or if not longer. And I'm having to, instead of pause the video, I'm letting you see how long this has taken so we can do some comparison. This is actually really long here. All right. All right. Now, let's, he would be a lot better render if I had him off zero here, but this is the only way I can get it to work. So once I bring him back here and look around or maybe change uh, a material on him, then we press the BPR and just give it a second and see how quick that was that was almost really quick compared to the first time and let's switch to a different material and try one more time I'm just moving around because sometimes I like to look around the dog and Let's press the BPR here. Uh, what will cause it? Well, there it went. What will cause the script not to work right if you come up here and start using this BPR here? So we're going to switch back here. And actually, I'm not even going to move them, move them this time. Just press the BPR. Well, anyway, like I said, if you want to try the script out, uh, go ahead and send me a private message, but I think this is going to wrap it up.